In D&D, King Arthur would only get Excalibur at the end of the campaign. Nah, Arthur getting the sword from the Lady in the Lake would be the beginning of his adventuring career. Excalibur isn't actually a magical weapon canonically, it's just a really good sword. <laughs> <laughs> Behold Excalibur, the really good sword. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm the Skyray 1000 and I will need your clothes, your motorbike and your like. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to another D&D memes video. Before jumping into this one, I wanna quickly kindly say that if you enjoy that little accent, as bad as it was, I would really appreciate it if you'd smash the like button, uh, it helps me out, so thank you so much for doing that. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Glad you like it, Miss Zed. The D&D memes subreddit is a great place for cute, humorous content from people that I would absolutely never, under any circumstances whatsoever, want to play D&D with. <laughs> Okay, that is one way to put it. <laughs> Quote, when the mean maxer tortures the DM with raw exploits while the <gasps> bard rolls to seduce the dragon and the chaotic neutral wizard <laughs> chaotic neutrally casts fireball in the closed room, you all sound absolutely insufferable to play with, but I will keep reading these memes until 4am. <laughs> they do have good memes in D&D memes, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I do like their memes as well. Actually, I used to to, uh, I used to spend a lot of time, not really on memes, I think, uh, I started with uh, the green text stories, spent a lot of time just reading the stories, you know, before making the videos or anything, just um, really enjoyed reading them. <laughs> now I can't really spend time doing that. Uh, on my own without recording because then you know I, I need to use the same stories pretty much and memes for uh, recording the videos and it's like I either don't get the first time reaction or I don't know it's just you know it's weird <laughs> I'm not complaining though it's well it is what it is you know <laughs> I believe my players are murder hobos in disguise. The DM creates a teenage apprentice bandit who's not a threat for his 4 level 4 players. Plan that his loyal slash good players, all 4 of them, find a non-violent solution for this NPC, who again is not a threat. The, p <laughs> the players beat the sh** out of him, make him drink poison and leave him on the road after stealing his hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, why? Jesus. What made your four loyal players, good players, do that? What the f- <gasps> I need some context, come on. There's no context to this. <laughs> like an explanation of why they did that or something. Y you can never know when the players turn out to be murder hobos, come on. You can't tell me otherwise. Spider-Man has a 20 in every stat. See, for if this meme for example, what I was talking about <laughs> a few seconds ago. I don't remember if I've read it without uh, recording it, like randomly saw it on the indie memes, or if I actually read it and I forgot completely. <laughs> Cause like I checked, I don't think I did, but it's still weird because I do remember reading the meme. <laughs> anyway, Spider-Man has a 20 in every stat. For strength, he has super strength. For dexterity, he has web swinging, wall crawling, and dodging. For constitution, he can take all sorts of damage and still keep fighting. For int, he makes his suit and web fluid, and also he's a major math and science nerd. For wisdom, spider sense and quick thinking. For charisma, his quips and taunting. Well, to be <laughs> to be fair, this one's kinda combining different versions of Spider-Man, isn't it? Because like he doesn't in all of them make the the fluid fluid. Uh, and also not in all of them is uh, you know, charismatic guy, <laughs> is he? Damn nature, you scary. Don't piss off the druids. Druid. Okay, so first, I'm gonna summon 8 pixies and have all of them cast Polymorph on the Warlock's patron. Even with advantage and legendary saves, the odds of him failing at least once are about 90%. Then, once his entire stat block has been replaced with that of a ship, I'm going to cast Slimy Doom on him. If he fails 3 con saves, then for the next week, every time he takes damage, he's stunned for a whole round. We'll just wait for 3 rounds for that to take effect. He's a ship after all. Warlock. And then, I'm gonna beat him with a stick. <laughs> oh, and the poor dungeon master left speechless. <laughs> What's banned, if anything, in your games? <laughs> this guy banned luck in his games, okay? <laughs> Nothing. 
Cause my party is too lazy to get overpowered or do the research to find overpowered builds. <laughs> Imagine not having any min-maxer because your entire party is too lazy. That's like, you failed the mission successfully, good job. <laughs> Our old DM. Oh god, okay, and there, are, there is some context to this. There's a link to a DN RPG horror stories thread uh, titled The I Roll With Triple Advantage DM. <laughs> That does sound pretty bad, Jesus. I'm gonna save this and maybe read it at some point soon. Um, I've been, I actually have a d, d RPG Horror Stories video recorded. I've just been really lazy about uh, editing it for a while actually, but uh, hopefully I'll get to it. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll make more of those as well, depending on how it goes. So yeah, stay tuned for that, I guess. A uh, good moment to tell you, to remind you to subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already. Currently, just the pixie dinosaur exploit. And yes, I do house rule that players can choose their summons on spells like Conjure Woodland Beings. The what now? And of course here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. <laughs> First, you cast Conjure Woodland Beings. Then you select 8 fake creatures of challenge rating 1 quarter or lower. The DM has to allow players to choose instead of choosing for the player. The DM has the creature's statistics. 4. The player chooses Pixie. Then they verbally command them to cast Polymorph on the party and fly away and hide with their big plus 10 stealth score. Then everyone gets a dump truck of hit points and damage as giant apes, level 7 party or T-Rexes in case of a level 8 party. <laughs> For a 4th level spell, concentration and an action, a druid gets an hour with 8 creatures that each have their own concentration and a lot of very good spells. Fly. Dispel magic, detect thoughts, and a couple that require saving throws against their pretty low DC. But when you attempt to use confusion on a big 20 feet diameter circle of guys 8 times in a row, they will eventually fail. This is why we can't have nice things on the indie memes. I'm not really a ban things kind of DM, but I do have a soft ban on first. <laughs> And, okay, <laughs> I think I've read enough through the comments. And one time I had to permaban a guy from the store that I DM'd AD League for, because he tried to start some f***ed up <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this, yeah, this was enough comments. A possible solution to the debate of female armor? Do you really think that that armor would protect you from anything? And why wouldn't it? <laughs> Confusion intensifies. That is, a uh, that is an interesting take. <laughs> It's about friendship and fun, isn't it? D&D according to D&D memes. I will railroad you. I will kill all the NPCs. D&D <laughs> in real life. Can I make a slight change in this one thing? Yeah, sure. D&D uh, in real life is more like, are we playing today? No, not. We're not. <laughs> High charisma work is ideal for a so. Hey, what's up? I'm Kevin. I like to take girls out for a massive plate of barbecue ribs on the first date. I judge them according to how many and how aggressively they consume them. Whoever defeats me in this fortune endeavor shall become my warrior bride, my Boudica. I'll set nations ablaze at her feet just to watch the flames dance in her eyes. Our love will be beautiful in its violence as a tempest hits the bearing straight and should it die, it dies as it began, with a mound of bones between us. <laughs> <laughs> and, then the, and then the guy that posted this had a stroke. An orc wrote this. An orc who knows how to treat a lady. Yeah, no, honestly, this was pretty poetic. Really good sword. In D&D, King Arthur would only get Excalibur at the end of the campaign. Nah, Arthur getting the sword from the lady in the lake would be the beginning of his adventuring career. Excalibur isn't actually a magical weapon, canonically. It's just a really good sword. <laughs> <laughs> Behold Excalibur, the really good sword. <laughs> oh god, I love it. <laughs> One would have thought that we have learned our lesson about making wishes by now. When you finally get your red dragon for Christmas, but it just makes a hoard out of your other presents and starts demanding a tribute. Um, okay then. <laughs> the tragic tale of the dumbass. Genie, you have three wishes. Adventurer, I wish unicorns were real. They are already. That doesn't count. Okay, cool. I wish that dragons were real. They are too, moron. Then I wish elves were real. God damn it. I'll let you have a free wish if you wish to be smarter. <laughs> Poor adventurer, god damn. Poor dumbass. Plot armor. This magical item identifies you as the protagonist of the narrative. 
The wearer lives while everyone else around them dies like flies. Half of any damage that the wearer takes is spread to allies instead. The cursed variant will transfer damage to the love interest first, then family members, and then finally to innocent bystanders. Cursed magical items, made to order at the gnome depot. <laughs> nice. What other monsters are way more dangerous than their CR would indicate? The Sea Hag would be a fun addition to my game's first encounter. <laughs> Multiple characters immediately getting killed by Dev Glare. Okay, what does it do? Dev Glare. The Hag targets one frightened creature that she can see within 30 feet of her. If the target can see the Hag, it must succeed on a DC 11 wisdom saving throw against this magic or drop to zero hit. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. Or <laughs> drop to zero hit points. I can see why they died. <laughs> Maybe adding a. Level 2 challenge rating enemy in the first fight is too much for them. <laughs> I wanna play a video game based on the Eberron setting. Wizards of the Coast and Feyran. Ravenloft, Planescape, Eberron and other Forgotten Realms continents. No, there's no others, it's just Feyran. <laughs> always has been, always will be. <laughs> Points for Creativity, The Barbarian Blacksmith and the Oath of Conquest Paladin. So, a sword made from the blood of your enemies is technically possible. If you separate the iron from the blood of 300 adults, you could smelt an iron ingot large enough to make the sword. <laughs> DM. Oh god, poor DM. How players think that DMs feel when they kill a player. This does put a smile on my face. How DMs actually feel when they kill a player. I'm sorry, little one. When they need help. Me, the DM, and my party that never remembers anything and doesn't take notes. The cursed sword that reminds the fighter of everything and tells him the names of people that they met previously. <laughs> that is so nice, that is a nice DM. New campaigns are always fun. My wizard character and his barbarian mom. The party making fun of him for coming to their first meeting with his mother. Aw, that's cute, why are they making fun of him, come on. <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions. When the party is a bunch of murder hobos. Railroading them into doing the right thing? Nah, no thanks. Homebrew a big bad evil guy that feeds on the negative morality of the party and gains strength and resistances for each evil deed that they commit. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So we got insomnia again. What do we do? We just figure out something to dream to, silly brain. What if there were hybrid classes in D&D? How the f*** would that work? <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's not just me who was confused. Uh, people in the comments were talking about Pathfinder having a system kind of for this, um, but also the uh, the regular multiclassing in D&D. D&D Mom Part 1 Barbarian Mom <laughs> What's with the Barbarian Mom memes? What is going on? Excuse me, sir. He asked for no pickles. Still hits the gym. Has zero patience for your attitude. You're so skinny. Eat more food. Either talk louder or come closer. Works free jobs. Will beat up your bullies for you. Always gives 3000%. Laughs really loud. I'm counting to three. Are you done? Who hit you? Tell me right now who hit you. Grabs you by the wrist. Yeah, I don't wanna say that I'm attracted to a random low poly character uh, drawing of a D&D barbarian girl or mom, whatever. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> so. I hope you guys enjoyed it, leave a like if you did and spread for more if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it, it also helps me out, so thank you so much if you do that. Also a big thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon and as a member on YouTube, really appreciate it, so thank you so much for that. Links below if you wanna check those out, as well as links to the social media, Discord, subreddit, anything else, and uh, yeah, that's it, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, bye!